Hi, welcome back. I am Nisha. In the last session, we discussed about data structure, the definition and the classification, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss about TAC, that is under linear data structure. You remember that structure, you see, under linear section, stack, queue and linked list are there. Now today, we are going to learn what is stack. So let us start. So linear data structure in stack application. So let's see what is stack here. See, LIFO, we can call it as LIFO, last in, first out. That is the full form of LIFO, last in, first out. Now see the example here, the CD stand, is it? Yeah, we, get, we can keep all the CDs through this portion. Only one end is there to keep all the CDs. And same like if you want to take out the CDs, we can take out only through this portion. If I want to take the first CD means I want to take out all the CDs, then only I will get that first one. Same like see this toy. So if I want to take out the yellow one, first I want to take out this red, then orange, then only I will get that yellow. Is it? And same like if you want to keep one more uh, uh, ring means we want to keep it on that top portion. So this is the concept of, this is the theory of stack. So we can insert only through top, same like if you want to take out, that is only through top. Only one open area is there to insert and delete. Now see the points. This organizing principle, organizing means the keeping of, the arranging of elements. The principle is known as last in first out, NIFO last in uh, first out that is the principle we are following for the stack application okay now all insertions and deletions are made at one end only through one end we can take out the data and same like if you want to insert it we can insert only through one end one end means only one area is there one side is there to insert and delete so that portion is called see usually called top we can call it as top. Where we are inserting the CD? Only on top of that CD stand. Okay, same like where we are inserting the data? On top. So we can call it as top. Now see the last point. The element added at last will be the first to be removed from the stack. The element added at last. Element means the data. The added, the data added at last will be the first to be removed from the stack. That is LIFO, last in, first out. So whichever data we entered in the uh, storage area, that top most one, the last one, first we want to remove it. That is the principle we are following for this stack application. So, so many operations are there. Let us check the operations using a stack application. Okay. So let us check what all operations are there on stack. The first one is push. This function is using for inserting an element in stack. Inserting. We are inserting an element in stack. That insertion is called push operation. Okay. Push function. That is known as, that is using for inserting an element. Okay. Then the next one is pop function. Pop means Deleting an element from the stack. Deleting an element from the stack. That is pop function. We are deleting an element. That operation is known as pop. Then the next one is peak function. Or we can say top function. This function is using for return the topmost element. If you want to return that. If you want to see which element is on top. We can use this peak function. Or we can say top function. Then the next one is is empty it's a checking we'll get is is there we'll get true or false answer is empty so return true or false it's also known as underflow we are checking that array or the structure the our memory is empty or not that is is empty then the next one is is full is full means return true or false answer that means is it overflow okay the memory is overflow or not that is is full 
and some more operations are the same like we did it in the array search function searches for searching an element then traverse function to do operations in all elements if you want to add uh, just increment all the values in that array means we can use traverse and traverse means to travel in all the elements that is traverse so these are the sum and the main one main operations on stack okay so now we can check in detail so here stack and lipo concept the first operation is push operation so before get into that here stack we can implement in both way static method and dynamic method static method means the fixed memory allocation at the compilation time itself that is called array we are creating cells at the compiling time itself maximum size but in dynamic memory allocation that is at the running time we can create cells that is not through array that is by linked list method okay so stack can implement for both so here i put the example in static method stack so i took array as an example okay now see push operation push operation is the process of inserting a new data item into the stack so push function is using for what to insert an element in the array insert an element in the array now see the array here normal array only just i put the name of the array as stack so eight cells are the 0 to 7 index number okay now i want to insert an element so what all changes are there just see yeah push function we are calling the push function push 10 10 is the element here 10 we want to insert it here so where we will insert in which position we will insert see where is stop now stop is on zeroth position so we will insert on zeroth position okay so we want to insert the data on zeroth position you see the data is moving on to the zeroth position now one more element i want to insert it see the example 20 is the element so this 20 i want to insert it where i will insert yeah i want to increment that top to the next position so top plus plus i'll do top plus plus first the so top is moving on to index number 1 now 20 is inserting on that position okay now again one more in insertion 30 is the element so top top we want to increment it first so top is focusing on index number 2 okay index number 2 now we want to insert that 30 on that top position so this is push operation push operation means inserting an element in the array understood now so the first time top is on zero so we are inserting that data on the top position then we are incrementing the top value then the next element we will insert so according to top where the top's position on that position we can insert it okay so that stack array is controlling by top understood now push operation means normal we did this in array concept but in array normal array if you are not using stack stack application means wherever in which position we can insert it according to our wish but if we are using stack application we can insert there is no question where you want to insert only on the top position we can insert it that is push operation got it okay now we can check the next pop function see pop what is pop the process of deleting an element from the top of a stack that is called pop operation deleting an element we are removing the data from the element so what is the process of deleting so we are popping the element okay so how we can pop an element there is no question which data we want to delete only on the top portion data we can remove it 
okay so when you are popping that function we are calling that pop function 30 will go at the same time top we want to set it on index number one portion see top minus minus when you are popping there is no question which element or which position element directly the data will removed or deleted from the array and the top will move to downward that means top minus minus okay understood now pop, pop and push operation push operation means we are inserting the element on top position pop function means we are removing the element from the top position okay that is called stack application so one more push operation means push operation is the process of inserting a new data item in the stack in the stack means where we will insert it at the top position okay now pop operation pop operation means process of deleting an element deleting an element from the top of a stack top of a stack there is no question which element we want to delete it automatically it will delete which one the data at the top position okay then top will move downward to the just previous uh, cell index number okay so this is pop function understood push and pop this these two are the main important functions in stack application push and pop understood okay so some more uh, important operations are there now let us check peak or top function so this function is using for return the topmost element of the array topmost element of the array just to return that value okay now see the example here this is the array stack is the array name five four six these are the elements in that array now see top is focusing on the topmost element of that array that is 6 ok so when you are calling this peak function we will get that value on top which value here yeah, 6 is the element so we will get the output as 6 ok we are not popping that element that value is there in the array itself just we will get that value in the variable or on the monitor just to know which element is there on top only for that purpose got it okay now the next one is empty is empty function is empty function is using for what just to check that array is empty or not if you want to display or if you want to search it or you want to pop the element first we need to check that array is empty or not is it how we can check that empty so let's see this we'll get true or false answer if it is empty we'll get true otherwise we'll get false if it is true we can call the status of that array is underflow okay underflow i'll show you one example here see top is focusing on zero the element now only one element is there that is five so i'm popping that element okay yeah i pop that element now top minus minus that means top is moving downward and the, top, the value of that top is minus 1 now. See, minus 1. Now see the array's status. Nothing is there. Is it? So when you are checking, is empty? Yeah, we will get true answer. Is it? See, is it empty? Yes. That means you are checking that the value of top is minus 1 or not. That is, is empty. So if it is empty, yes, we will get the answer as true. Now that status of array is what? It is underflow. Okay. We can call that status as underflow. It is empty. If it is empty, it is underflow. Got it? Okay. Now the next one is is full. Is full. Return true or false answer. If it is true, if it is full, is full. Yeah, it is full. We are getting true answer that means array is overflow that is the status of that array you see the example here see the elements are inserted top is on the last position see seven only 
eight cells are there. So top is focusing on that seven cell. Is it? Yeah, index number seven. Top came ten. Is it possible to insert it? No, it is not possible. So how we know there is no space in that array? So we can use that function. Is it full or not? Yeah, it is full. We'll get the true answer. So that means it is overflow. Yeah, we can't insert the element. There is no space in that array. Okay, there is no space. So we'll get true answer. So that is known as overflow status. Understood now? Okay, peak is for returning the topmost element. E is empty is for checking the array is empty or not. Then E is full means we are checking the array is full. That means is it overflow or not? Is there any space in the array or not? That is useful. Got it? Okay. Now, these are the main operations on the stack. Okay. Push function. Push is known as to insert an element in the stack. Pop means popping an element in the stack. So, from where will pop? Only from the top. Push through top. Peak, the topmost element. Is empty, checking that array is empty or not. Is full, we are checking that array is full or not. Then search, traversal, these are some other operations that is same like array. Okay, the main important functions are, the operations are push, pop, peak or top is empty or is full. Got it? So here I put some applications. Why we are using the stack? So here are some examples. Redo and undo features at many places like editors and Photoshop. See, undo and redo. You will remember this one. Undo and redo operations in all editors. You can see this. We are using Word or PowerPoint or Excel or in Notepad itself. There is undo and redo. Why undo? To cancel the last. Why redo? Recall the last one. So these are the two operations. So for doing this one, we are implementing this stack application. Okay, for cancelling the last one, same like, if you want to recall that last one, we can redo this. So for this purpose, we are using this stack implementation and see the second string reversal it's also an another application of stack string reverse just see this example face f s e e so we are storing this letters in an array and if we are want to display it in a reverse style means see last letter last in first out style so for this application we are using stack Okay, now see the other one, forward and backward feature in web browser. Web browser, see, in the Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. So, whichever page we have opened, whichever website you open, you can see back and forward. This is for, yeah, move to the back page. Is it the last page where we open, which one we opened? So, that is also stack application. So, so many applications are there implementing the stack and the function recursive function In recursive function at each time we are calling that time the data will store in the memory which memory in the stack memory only so do you remember that I'll put that link in the description box okay so these are the applications some applications only I put it here these are the common ones so, in so many places, we are implementing this stack algorithm. Understood now? Okay. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Uh, today, we discussed only about the introduction on stack. But what is stack and what all operations we can do it and the applications of stack. So, in the next video, I will show you how to implement the stack in C++.
okay so till then take care bye thank you